storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. John Gray. We got to talk about John Gray. We got to talk about John Gray. I'm just saying. I don't know if she's a fan of fish, but she's sure finna smell it. All right, so we're going to listen to this video. This is a video that Pastor John Gray, who was on Open Winfrey Network, who was the pastor of a church, I roasted him a couple years ago. I'm going to have to repost that roast if I can find it. But anyway, let's hear what he had to say to his side chick, and then we're going to write him a script that we think is necessary. Uh, she does not, um, and you know more than most, but I speak out of honor because honor covers. But when things hit the fan, it is my hope that you will cover me in prayer. Ain't that right, son? What do you eat every day? Pizza. In the oven. From DiGiorno. Because that's what you have to do to feed when ain't nobody cooking. And wow. that's the truth, Ruth. But I saw what she did there, Mary. I saw what she did. You got an hour to get ready. We're going to Cabo. Damn. So bring your mask and your favorite two piece. Cause we out. You know what you could do. You can send the Cancun pit or pigs from Cancun. That would serve to satisfy the fake bet, which you've already been compensated for. What's that? And brisket. How about that? Your own brisket. And we're doing baked beans with the hamburger meat, mashed potatoes. We do some fresh corn. I don't know if any of this are any of these are vegetables or sides that you want. If you want other sides, like that ass food. always talking about food. Chef John. Uh, she does not. Um, all right, all right. So, so, so that's that's it there. That's a little video there. Those are the videos that he was sending to his side chick there. Now, first, I gotta say, this is the bad built body bastard that had the nerve to cheat on somebody. Who is lifting that big ass stomach up to get to get to the golden prize? Who is doing that? Who is lifting that big ass stomach up to get to the holy Jews? I know Moses parted the Red Sea, but who's parting that big old uh, 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 that 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 line between the gut and, and the pelvic bone to lift that shit up to get up under there? Who's really doing that? You know you a fat ass bastard when all you talk about is food and you supposed to be getting coochie. I mean, I'm just saying. You send it, you literally sending videos to your home. And that's how I know how lame you are, how Tiger Woods of you. To not know that everything is recorded and screen screen recorded. That's how I know you're lame and you don't you, 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 you ain't built for this shit, John. You ain't you ain't built for a lot of things. I don't even think you're built to run a lap. I don't think you're built to walk up the steps. Like I like I believe in, even in a house, you got one of them hover around chairs that you have to put on the side. So we're so it like raises your ass up. I don't even believe you walk up and down those steps. You'd at least lost a few damn pounds by now. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying, you know, you fat when like you just can't stop talking about food and then you down in your wife in front of your kid and got your kid down talking his mama to the hole. If I if I was a venter, I'd be both y'all ass, the kid and you too. I just grab my belt and I just start swinging simply for the disrespect or disrespect to me. Now, if I can't cook, there's some you keep in the house. You don't involve my kid to tell everybody that I'm slacking and cooking and he got to eat pizza every day. You just you just not going to do that. You just not going to do that with your hub around ass. You are 20 pounds away from being on my 600 pound life. And who's going to squirt water up your fat ass when you can't wipe it no more? You think the moles ain't? You you can't? For all the tithing people, this is what your church money paying for. You thought you was... Well, you, you know, they, they really got the business down packed, right? They say, you give money to me and then I take this money and do what I want to do with it. And then the Lord is going to bless you 
you because you bless me. But you, what? The Lord is free. The Lord, I am convinced that 99% of pimps, uh, I'm sorry, I called them pimps. I meant pastors, but maybe that's the same thing. I'm, I am I am convinced that 99% of these pastors are failed ass pimps. And they just figured out that they didn't want to get no job. They had to get for Gab and that the best way to make a living was to get tax-free money by preaching to people that are ignorant and not even gonna read the same book that they claiming to be a follower of. I think I think I need to open up a church. Where my church at? Where my 501c3 so I can get these tax-free donations? I take that back. I ain't gonna play with the Lord because uh, guess what? You gotta pay for that shit when he come back. And when he do come back, the first place he's coming to, John Gray, it's a church. He ain't coming to Cabo. He ain't coming to the Georgios. He ain't coming to Pizza. He ain't coming to Domino's. He ain't coming to Applebee's. He ain't coming to Church's Chicken. He ain't coming to Popeye's. He ain't coming to Papa Do's. He ain't coming to Seeds 52. He ain't coming, he ain't coming to Longhorn. He ain't, coming, he ain't coming to name one of those rallies, White Castles, none of it. He coming to the church with your fat ass. And your fat ass ain't gonna be able to run away from him. I don't even think your ass can run away. <laughs> I don't think your ass can run at all. Anyway, I say all of that to say, uh, uh, John Gray, I basically got diagnosed you with being just, I, you're just a clown. You're a clown. You're a pimp. You're a thief. You're a thief of everything in life. Here's the thing, John Gray. Your wife got on the reel a couple years back and said that you were not cheating with your grown man body. You were cheating with your 16-year-old self. And I want to say to Aventa, Aventa, your ass sound expensive. You know how some women got names that just sound expensive? Like, you're like, I'm just going to be cashing out on your ass forever, but I'm going to get on your ass in a minute, Aventa, or your disappearing ass. I see your ass losing weight. You ready for your next nigga, and I ain't mad at you, but make sure he in the church, too, because I know you don't know shit about paying taxes, but if you get with a man with a regular job or a business, then your ass going to learn that like 30% of whatever you make can't go, you know, into the next Lamborghini that's coming out. It's got to go back to the tax man. So I'm, I'm just saying, Aventa, I'm just saying you can get all the BBLs and all the stomach staples that you want, but you might want to stay in the church if you want to keep evading the IRS. Now, are you tired of being fat as hell? Are you sick of your breasts hitting your lap when you sit down? Are you embarrassed every time you go by and people think you're pregnant, but you really not? You just had a big burrito last night. If you were going through them problems, and guess what? I got a solution for you, and your solution is going to be found in Nutriburst. Now, before you get mad, let me let you know, in addition to using Nutriburst, burst products you're going to need a healthy caloric deficit diet but one of my favorite products that nutriburst offers is called resolution drops and life drops and i'm telling you they help me not eat as much because you know i'm a cookie monster i'm a slave to that pata pata monster so if you slave to the pasta and the cookies like me get you some resolution and some life drops my link is in the description box below anyway back back <laughs> back, back to this shit. So Aventa said that he doesn't cheat with his grown man body. He cheats with his 16-year-old body. And the thing is, ain't nothing on this man 16. This man ain't even the same size that he was when he was 16. What is 16 on this man? Besides the holes that he screwed. Oh, Lord, don't let us find Algy out here or Kelly and holes. He is definitely done. But at the end of the day, John Gray is somebody that nobody ever liked. This is a lame. This is an ugly dude. This is a fat dude. This was not even a funny dude. He ain't even that good at pastoring because the Joe Osteen kicked him up out the church. This is a dude that was never athletic. He never fitted in anywhere. And so he never got the fine girls. And so he figured that when I grow up one day, I'm going to be rich. But the thing is, he was too weak and too much of a pussy to ever make it in corporate America, but he knew the one place he could make it and clean out is the church because the church is the only place where you could be a man, sound like a woman, and still convince women to give you all their money. Did y'all hear me? The church is the only place you can be a man, sound like a woman, and get women to still give you all their damn money. Because it ain't a whole lot of men in church like that. We ain't falling for that shit. Ain't nothing he can say. Ain't nothing he can say that's gonna impress me. The reads. The, look, 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 Michael. It's true. I ain't told not nan lie. Your 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 ever growing ass waistline. I guess you just skipped over that whole part in the Bible that talked about gluttony, huh? You just your body is a temple. And you know, John Gray. I remember when you you, you let's talk about you church people for a minute. Let's talk about you bastards, because, you know, I remember when, you know, I was in Dallas and I was on a business trip in 2016 and these church people, you know, we met up in the elevator, you know, and they was like, so you coming out tonight, you coming out 
to the church and I was like, nah, I'm going out to sin tonight because I was going out to the club. But my whole point was, yes, I was going out to the club and, and to drinking and, you know, you know, none of your bed or whatever else I was doing. But meanwhile, they were setting up, you know, you know, judging me and they all a bit of 300 pounds. I mean, every single one of them, 300 pounds with in and out and Whataburger and they shoving down their damn throats. And so I'm like, well, what's worse for your body? Is the alcohol any better than the burgers? I don't know. I'm just saying, you know, you're talking about people with tattoos, yet y'all, I I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't I don't I don't want to get into all that. But I just want to say, John Gray, the Lord is watching you. The Lord, the Lord is watching you. John, how does it feel to be exposed and to be embarrassed? How does it feel to condemn people for the very same sins that you doing? Why are we always catching these pastors and some shit? <clears throat> Jamal Bryant, why? Do y'all really get into the church for the Lord or do y'all get into church just for access to single women? Is it is it is it is it is it the holy bible or the, or the holy pussy? What is it that keeps you coming back for more? I'm just saying because black churches are like 80% women, most of them are single and it's just really I I guess y'all do y'all be loving these pastors like that? Do y'all be lusting over these pastors like that? I know a lot of you women that sit at, you know, in the first couple rows when you look up, you know, you see nothing but holy dingleberries digging balls and maybe it just gets you hot and bothered. They do be in some tight ass pants, you know, but I don't, I don't even think you can see his here. You you see nothing but but titties and stomach. But I'm I'm just saying, you know, what 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 lady looked at him and said, "I, I can't wait to lift that shit up and get up." Under there, you know, I'm I, I, John Gray. Instead of worrying about these hoes, why why you won't worry about keeping no baby powder up under your titties? You know, it is summertime, you live in the south, and you know, when you big and you live somewhere where it's human, you got to keep that baby powder up under them titties and up under that stomach, and then a crack of your ass to keep you from having mud butt wherever you sit. I'm just saying, you steady worried about pizza and then put the baby in it. If I was a venter, I would I would get a belt and beat the hell, I would beat the black off both y'all, my son for trying me and my husband for even putting my son in it in the first damn place I, I, I just don't understand you do you think these hoes love you john they're never gonna love you you're ugly i think we need to get back to telling people just what they are you're ugly Let, let's say it. one two three you ugly you ugly you ugly your belly button is wide enough for us to hide in from the police. You're fat. You're ugly. You're disgusting. Your body is horrible. You lost your hair. You ain't nothing to look at. Joe Olstein is a better preacher. I'm just saying. You don't even have a deep voice. So you sound like a bitch, you built like a bitch, and you cheating on your wife with bitches. It's 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 just it's just it's just all bad. John, and in all the videos to your hoes, the sexiest thing you could talk about is pizza, pepperoni, cheese, and sausage. That's it. I know somebody got to be banging a venter out. Now, venter, I'm finna get on your ass in a minute because I remember a couple years back when you said that it wasn't nothing wrong with your man buying you a $300,000 Lambo because, you know, we entertainers just like the basketball players. And I said, did this, did this first lady, did this preacher lady? I miss the old days. Where the old church ladies at that wore the dresses down to they that down to their ankles that covered themselves up? That even though they was grimy and shady as hell, they kept it behind the scenes. What happened to them days? Anyway, you sure is ugly. Aventa, I I I, I just want to know is is the real reason why you said that you guys are entertainers? Is it is it something that the little person is missing? Like, is it like is it? Is it true that like religion is like man-made and the most important thing is to like have a relationship with God? Because even Jesus said he didn't want us to be religious. He wanted us to follow him, you know, because religion is man-made. And so do you guys all know at the top that like the shit is low-key fake and you really don't know if it's real anyway? And so you just use this as a hustle and you keep us in our lane while you get all of our money. And, you know, we giving you all our stimulus checks and shit while, you know, your husband is stimulating another bitch in Cabo. I 
want to go to Cabo. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like, what? What? What's the tea? And then you want to threaten somebody? How you gonna threaten a blogger before you threaten the bitch that was sucking up your husband? How you gonna threaten a blogger before you threaten the girl that was sleeping with your man? I don't respect you. You 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 got hands? Oh, d- does a better have hands? I mean, you you got a gap, so I know that mouth work. I know that mouthpiece do what it's supposed to do in the name of the Lord. But do you got hands? Because if you got hands, I suggest you go whoop, whoop your husband's ass first. Whoop his ass first. Did she really say that, Denise? Yes, she said it in 2018. She sure did. She sure did. Aventa, I know you got somebody on the side too. That's why you're not really tripping about him cheating on you because see, you were sick of this man scissoring you. Cause I know y'all can't do missionary no more. I know, I know doggy style is really hard too, because he can't even really see where he's going. So I know y'all just y'all y'all get it. Y'all get it on the side. Y'all get it just like that. I already know. And when they real big, you just y'all both just gotta get on the floor and make a pallet and make it work. I already know. But I'm just here to let you know that John Gray, the Lord sees you and the Lord is watching you and use lions on the Lord's name. Did you pray over the puss before you got in it? Did you did, did you bless it before? Did you put a little holy oil down? Did you lubricate the puss with holy oil before you entered it? I just want to know, but I do want to let you know, even if you did all that, you're still sinning. John, it's time, it's time to repent. John, it's 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 time it's time to let it go. This marriage is done. Aventa don't want you. Them hoes don't want you. You don't want yourself. Sick of your shit. He's straight laying on his back. Hell, laying on his back with his titties going up uh, up under his armpits like Sherry Shepard. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. A lot of y'all done been with big men. They getting on top of you, titties all in your face, and they want you to suck them. We're done. Uh, it's storm show. Ay, it's storm show.